The people love you. You got charismatic. You got a kind smile. If you win this, I'll, you'll make it to the presidential election. I don't know where I am. Just there for like I don't know. I mean, I think you got a chance. You know, you just gotta push for it. Hello, I'm talking to you. What are you looking at, Marshall? Hello. Shut the fuck up, Cora. Jesus Christ, I'm not gonna be president. I'm not gonna keep doing this campaign if I'm just gonna fucking lose. I don't understand how you can always be so hopeful. It's so goddamn annoying. Like, just get the fuck out of here. Leave me the fuck alone. I don't wanna hear it right now, okay? Damn, well, I didn't think you were that passionate about this. Ow, what the fuck? Pulling up to the scene now. Did, did, did you get that rain last night? Jesus Christ, I swear to stay. I cannot wait to like, get my pension so I can move out of here. What what happened last night? There's this rain, there's this debate. By the way, did you see that debate last night? God, what a fucking travesty that was. Who the fuck would ever vote for somebody like that? I swear. This country needs a fucking change. Yeah. You don't have to tell me that. I already understand. The news sucks. I don't... I don't care. Look, I don't, I don't care. Look, look, okay. I'm gonna hang, okay. I'm hanging up now. I've gotta, no, I'm, okay. I'm hanging up now. Bye. Man, it's fucking hot out today. Oh, uh, Donovan Blake. Pardon me. Yeah, so, uh, I'm chief officer around here. So, uh, what's, what's, what's the, what's the issue here? Well, you know what? I'll tell you what's going. I'll tell you what happened. It's debate night. Everybody's, everybody's tired. Everybody wants to go home. End of the night happens. Everybody does get to go home. Marshall Bryant, on the other hand, beats his campaign manager, what's her face, don't even fucking remember, beats her to a bloody pulp. A bloody pulp. I wish I had the balls to do that to my wife. Anyway. We got more important issues than that. Mayor goes missing. Still, Ma Mayor's missing. Don't even know where the hell she is. Last I heard, she was looking at some uh, hostel, hotel, motel, don't even fucking know, down in the land. And that's the last we hear of her. So wait, Conrad wins by default, right? I mean, his opponent committed murder in front of many, many people. Like, well, I, I heard that you can run in jail, but I mean, like, that's murder. That's a felony. That, that that disqualifies him, doesn't it? I mean... By the way, did you get that rain last night? I think it... Do you think Bryant had a motive with him? Who, who fucking knows, man? This state is full of crazies. Everybody's losing their minds left and right. So, I mean... Who knows, man? Not even God himself knows. Did you get that rain last night? I'll tell you what, I've lived in this fucking state for six years. Years. Never had rain that bad before. It's August, for Christ's sake. It's supposed to be fall soon. It's supposed to be like, what, fucking 40, 50? I swear to God, Florida, every day, it's on its period. Doesn't know what fucking day. It doesn't know if it's supposed to be cold, warm, muggy. Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh, we're supposed to be wearing ma- Fuck it. We're, we're federal agents. Who's gonna card us for not wearing a fucking mask? 
never in my life, never, never in my life, have I ever seen that much rain. Never. It, 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 it's unbelievable. Like, Actually, you missed something. First of all, I don't miss, but what I miss. So rings it found uh, blood washed from the uh, rain over there. Okay. religion called Confucianism? Well, the ideology of Confucius was is a very simple thing. Follow me, sir. What the fuck? So let me tell you, Confucius was a Chinese philosopher and politician during the autumn and spring period. Um, but also, I just love shit posting so much about Confucianism. Guess why? Why? No, no, no. Guess. Why? Guess! Because it's Confucian. Hey, Kate. Hi, Kate! So, we were just talking about this great man named Confucius. There's something there. Um, so, are you ready to hang up some posters? started being like just beating the crap out of her. Dude, we were there. That could have been us. It was not like she was some random person. She was insane. Anyways, yeah, that could have been us. Totally. But what I'm saying is with Confucius? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a good one. You're funny, dude. You're funny. No, no, you're funny. No, no, I said you're funny. Okay. Sorry. That's good. I just gotta put the ball in the Dang, bro. Sorry. Yeah, let's. Check that out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, no. Sorry. Yeah, really sucks. Yeah. Hey, 
You still live with your mom? Yeah. So I heard your roommate from California moved out. Exactly. But he's moving back to California, and I figured I'd just ask you if you wanted to move in with me. Because, you know, since I already drive you around everywhere, why not leave from the same place? Yo, that's a good idea. I think I'm down. All right, cool. Something else? Uh, do you know any uh, any Queen by any chance? Queen? Like Queen by who? I was in a bit of a rush, but my driver got me here on time, so I'm thankful for him. I know y'all heard the news that Mayor Harlan is missing, and I'm sorry to say that that is very true. I'm so sorry about this. She's actually been missing since the debate, and I should have come out a bit sooner. With the declining rate in COVID, I was hoping that I could go and campaign more around this state. But sadly, since the events with Mayor Harlan, I'm going to stay in this town, in this beautiful city, until Mayor Harlan is found. I will do everything in my power to make sure that this sheriff's office, that everyone on the streets is actively looking for their mayor. I will not leave until my hometown's leader is back in her office. Yes, Courtney? Okay, whoa, 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 slow down. Okay, first of all, why are you so mad about this? Because you originally were the one who said you wanted to stay here. So I don't know why you decided that you are getting mad at me right now because I grew up with her. If I don't go with this, then I won't get Senator. You need to calm down. Thank you. Okay, I'm not gonna take this attitude from you when I'm trying to do what's best for both of us. All right, can we drive please, please? I need food, thank you. Okay, Cordy, listen, listen, Cordy, come. Fuck you. That's when I told him, I said, yeah. whoa, six I feet, brother. <laughs> I know, yeah, all right, talk to you later. <clears throat> oh, that's embarrassing. Yeah. All right. Sorry about that. Yeah, a little embarrassing. Anyways, Brooke Navarro. Anthony Tusk. Dr. Navarro. She'll be replacing Dr. Michaels for a time being. Right. I'm really excited to start on the experiment. I really want to get my hands on those patients. And I just can't wait to see what we're going to get with these dog labs. Well, it was very nice meeting you. I'm looking forward to working with you, getting to know you a little bit. Um, but I do have to go now. Got to get, get out there. Uh, stay safe. 
Wearing mask, social distance. All right, later. All right, get going. Just it's going crazy, I think. I figured this would happen. You're not real. This isn't real. But I am real, Tony. I am real. I got my money's worth for the camera. Wait, I bought the camera. How much you spend on it? Probably in total, like 1600. So you're telling me you spent $1,600 on a camera, but you didn't replace your broken tripod. You know what, quiet down, man. Fuck you. All right, well, we're gonna get this thing started. Um, Pretty much what we're gonna do is we're gonna ask you some questions, probably about your law firm and how it dealt with those real estate people. I, I have it in my notes, I'll check again. Um, among the family of the missing. This is not just something that is, you know, a community issue. This is an all of Sanford issue. And with the mayor going missing, this proves that this issue is bigger than we could have ever imagined. And we truly need to work together as a community to solve it. I think that went pretty yeah, good. All of my friends I mean, I like guess. What, what do you mean you guess? I mean, like, I just stood there. Yeah, that was your fault, actually.
you hear about the mayor? Did you hear about the mayor? Did you hear about the mayor? Yes, I did hear. They found her body in the river. That's crazy. Can I please have my phone back? I swear, I'm saving up and I'm moving out of this city. First, you gotta move into my house. It's just taking a little bit for me to move my stuff out of my mom's house. So, you're trying to move in with me, but you also want to leave the city. How many times are you trying to move? I just hate this city, man. That's all it is. Did you did you hear they're trying to sell that creepy ass house in your old neighborhood? They are? Dude, finally. Yeah, I was driving past the house the other day and I saw a big for sale sign in the front yard. The house in Uppsala? Uppsala. Yeah, either way, I saw them towing the Lexus out of the front yard. Uh, the, the Lexus that's been there for like, years. side right we become blinded and drawn like a moth to a light it's a desert oasis a shadow box fight there's always a little bit wrong on the other side What's your name, pal? Joel. Well, Joel, I'm not gonna ask what happened. Thanks for that. And thanks for letting me clean up and these clothes. Is this your church? It is. Fixing it up a little bit there. Yeah, it's pretty old. Got yeah. a weird question for you. Mm. What's the date today? It's my fifth. What month? February. It's actually the first of September. What? I think you've probably been in that shed for about, about half a year. Yeah, it's, it's longer than most, but periodically it happens like that sometimes. What the fuck are you talking about? You died. 
been dead for about six months. Now, I understand it's hard to understand. Trust me, it's hard for everyone to. But, you have a seat for me, Joel. I'll explain everything. Are you familiar with the story of Cain and Abel? I haven't read the Bible, I'm not Christian. Fair enough. Well, the gist of it is, Cain and Abel were the children of Adam and Eve. They were brothers. Cain grew jealous of Abel, so Cain killed Abel. Well, it's been a phenomenon in Sanford for hundreds of years. It's been a trick God's been playing for his own pleasure, I think. Remember the story I just told you of Cain and Abel? Well, in this one, after Cain kills Abel, Abel comes back. Eager to kill his brother. No. We should have looked for a sooner. Preston, look. We were all there in the debate. No one said a damn thing when she wasn't there. Preston, this isn't on you. You even DeSantis didn't even know. Anastasia's this. dead. It doesn't matter what we thought. She's dead, Courtney. I don't think you understand what's happening, okay? She was my friend. I can't imagine what you're going through. You can't. You don't know a damn thing what's going on in my head. I don't think you understand. I've known her since kindergarten. Not just high school. Now she's gone. I can't do anything about it. I understand that you're upset, Preston. I understand that the mayor is dead. I understand all of that. You don't understand! questions for what me and my opponent are for. Well, let me tell you why you should vote for me as Senator Conrad. I will push for higher minimum wage for those of you that are not in the top 10% economic class. I know real estate is hard to get into nowadays. Seller's market, crazy expensive. If you want to get out of here, go to Texas. But if you vote for me, you won't have to leave. I will support our veterans and a high number percentage of them live in Florida. I know that you want to make this state better. I know you want to push our agenda, not just the Democratic, but every agenda, every important thing that stands for U.S. Floridians and even my Sanfordites, all of my beautiful Sanfordites. Thank you. I am Preston Conrad, and I approve this message. Floating down 
just waiting for someone. You all don't. Depends who's asking. Dana Bryant. Okay. I'm Wesley Norman's partner. He told me that he called him about a business venture. Did I? <laughs> See, uh, Wesley told me you're a little hush-hush uh, about your business. And now I understand not wanting to talk about it on the phone as for uh, discretion purposes. But you can trust me. Why don't you tell me now here in person while there's nobody listening? What do you want to know? Just tell me one thing. Wesley, uh, you told me you were going out of town. Where are you headed? Sanford. An associate of mine found someone that I've been looking for. And now who am I that? The who would be God. My, oh my. Madam Mayor, I didn't think you were going to wake up. What is this? Where am I? Let's just say my boss told me to bring you here. Cedric told you to bring me here? I don't know what it is about this place, but it likes to wake people up. You tell Cedric, if I don't get back to my office, people are gonna start asking questions. I don't work for Thomas. That's his real name, by the way. They found your body in the fucking river. What the hell are you talking about? Tell me, what's the last thing you remember? I was at the Putnam Hotel because I was planning to invest in a building and Cedric was there. I don't know how he was there, but he was. That's it? That's all you remember? That's it, like I said, I don't know what's going on. We sent Thomas to talk to you that night, but he tossed you off the building and dumped your ass into the fucking lake. Don't play with me. People don't just die and then come back to life. I told my boss you weren't gonna wake up. You should have fucking seen yourself after you got tossed off the building. And you were sleeping with the fishes. They weren't kind either. The boss is waiting for us. Get in the fucking car, I'll tell you more on the way. Consider yourself lucky. Lucky? At least you woke up as you. What does that even mean? Well, when some of us wake up, we're a completely different person. Another person? That's what happened to Thomas. When he woke up, he had all of Thomas's memories, but he wasn't Thomas. Can you guys just quit lying to me? The queen is dead. What a fitting headline. So two of you are friends with Senator Preston Conrad. Why do you care? Well, it may just prove useful in the future for me. See, Senator Conrad's my best chance of getting at the governor. The governor? Who are you? My apologies. My associate Malcolm and I put you through all this trouble and I haven't even told you who I am yet. Well, I'm Aldo. What's going on? Why am I even alive? Before I get into that, you mind if I smoke? Sure, go ahead. This 
might be confusing at first. There's been a phenomenon in Sanford for many years. It's a little trick God likes to play with its creations. God curses you in either two ways. You become crazy, insane, and you want to kill everything that you see and everyone that you see. Or, he forces you to wake up from the dead, forced to live another life on this earth. Wait, what makes it a trick? It's like Cain and Abel, except this time Abel resurrects and kills his brother Cain. See, I've been studying this book for quite some time. And all I need is just your help. Working two jobs is hard? That's cringe. You know what? You can go fuck yourself and you too. Hey, settle wow. down, okay? What the fuck was that? Thousand judges. 
from the looks of it, to me, it seems like a terrorist is among us. I'm here to save Sanford. <laughs> you didn't fool me. It was me. <laughs> huh, pretty funny. We've been waiting here for like 20 minutes. Good job, genius. I've been waiting for you guys to notice me over there for 20 minutes. You're being fucking weird. What did you expect us to do? Come up to you? Duh! I'm Spider-Man! Oh, there he is. What were you doing back there? Mom's gonna kill me. So you want Wesley to start a church? And uh, why do you need him? I can think I see things in people. I believe there's an inherent good and bad within everyone. And with this church, I would like to use God's guidance and great good will to purge the city of Sanford of its evil. Evil is there, and I know it is. I've seen it firsthand, and I have scripts from those that have witnessed it. There's nothing to fret about, but with this church that we install there, we might be able to cast it away to the depths of hell where it belongs. Deal. Well, uh, you see Wesley's not here, but I can say this. If I like a deal, he likes it too. I know there's a lot for us to catch up on, you know, just talk about, but uh, I think we should start with Aldo's history. Believe it or not, uh, Aldo had a church in 1930, and uh, he was studying about this folklore and, you know, these people and these ancient burial grounds. Obviously, Aldo's trying to work you into the church. Tomorrow would be a great day, you know, for you to come and to meet people. I thought the church didn't have a congregation. I thought it was just an empty building. Uh, we're not really a congregation, we're just a group of concerned individuals. Um, you know, we don't really meet up for mass. Uh, bas basically, it's just a tax write-off, we don't even use the building. Uh, you know, Aldo, Aldo's a, a great guy. Um, you know, he, he gave me purpose, he's, he's our fearless leader. Um, you know, to be honest, He's one of the best man I, uh, men I have ever met. Uh, he gave me a purpose. You know, it's funny. You have to die to find your purpose. Like you coming over like this Take 
making all of me and leaving all of that Whatever happened to me I assume that meeting with the mayor went very well, huh? Being had to bring you out here to this field and wake you back up. She didn't slice your throat or nothing, right? You had a great meeting, convinced her to join us. Sally, she's really on a fucking board, huh? Slice your throat in the middle of fucking downtown. You couldn't do one fucking thing that I asked. You couldn't hard sell one fucking time. You're just as worthless as fucking Thomas. Do you understand me? That fucking cocksucker couldn't get her, and neither can you. To me, you're on the same level playing field as him, my friend, unless you fucking prove yourself. Can you prove yourself? Speak when you're spoken to. Speak. Can you do it? Speak. Yes. Okay. Stand up. Up. Oh. How the fuck are we gonna fix this? How in the fuck are we gonna fix this? The mayor was our only fucking hope. She was the only one who could talk to the governor. The only fucking one. Do you understand that? Yes. Obviously you fucking don't. You botched the entire fucking plan. Do you, you understand what this means? Yes. You know how many people we've brought back to life? You know how people have gone missing because of us? Yes. You know what the FBI's gonna finally come down here? Because you can't... God, you can't even under fucking do one thing I asked you to do. You can't understand the fucking scope of this. This whole thing fucks us all. All of us are done. Do you understand that? Yes. Nothing can be... This is 50 years down the fucking drain. Do you understand me? 50 fucking years down the drain. This is gonna set us back to the fucking Bronze Age. Do you understand that? You know how many fucking murders are gonna be implicated on? This whole thing was all because of us. This whole situation, unfuckable, because of you. You are the fucking reason why we're all gonna fail. Do you understand that? You're supposed to be my right hand man, the one I could go to to have things done. But I mean, you can't get anything done anymore. You're just as worthless as Thomas. I've had said so already. Do you understand that? You mean nothing to me now. You have no fucking purpose. Why did I bring you back? It's because I see something in you. You can do it. This cannot be fucking stopped. The FBI, all we needed was the governor on our fucking side. And to get to the governor, we need the mayor. The one fucking piece of the puzzle we need, and you fuck everything up. You botched the entire fucking hey. plan. Do you understand that? Hey! What? What? God damn it, fucking speak if you're gonna speak. Don't just keep interrupting me. What do you have to fucking say? Conrad. We have fucking Conrad, Aldo. You fucking remember him? Yeah, what a fucking, what are you gonna do? What a fucking about it, huh? Well, the governor's, the governor's a fucking idiot. So, just get fucking get, Conrad. Get to the fucking chase, get to the fucking chase. What are we gonna do? Get okay. to the fucking chase. Get Conrad to talk to the governor. DeSantis is a fucking idiot, remember that? He's a fucking idiot. That was a test. I wanted to see if you still had, still had it. You understand me? That was to see if you still fucking had it, and you do. I'm a best soldier, Malcolm. Do you understand that? Thank I'm a best soldier. Thank you. What we're gonna do, we're gonna get you cleaned up. Let's go ahead and get in the truck and we'll get Conrad. It might take a few months, but let's go. Let's go, get in the truck.
Florida, the results are in. It's a dark day, America. Florida is Trump country, an absolute must win for the president. But here at Fox News, we are calling this race all 29 of Florida's electoral votes to go to former Vice President Joe Biden. This is by far the, cr the craziest and most unexpected win for Biden. Almost an absolute joke, if you ask me, and definitely a shock for the rest of the country. We are headed down a terrible path, and it only gets worse from here, America. We're a step closer to, closer to having a dementia patient in the White House. Losing Florida will make it extremely hard for the president to win, but it is not impossible. We move to Florida's tightest Senate race in decades. Democrat Senator Preston Conrad versus Republican candidate Arthur Rollins. Now, some of you might remember, but there was an independent on the ticket just three months ago. But Marshall Bryant, that lunatic, dropped out of the race for good after he murdered someone. A good reason, if you ask me. Seems like we're getting an update from the Florida divisions of elections. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the Florida Senate race has been called. Senator Preston Conrad will need to face off against Arthur Rollins in a runoff election January 5th with 99% reporting. The race is too close to determine a victor. Now, while Florida has counted nearly all of its votes, it is still a long way to the results for the White House. Oh, many I states have 30% reporting, just, I, I, I can't, see belts I can't. America, why are we watching the Fox News? <laughs> Why are you mad? Why is it a tie? Just tell me. What did I do wrong? Well, we have a everything I did in my campaign made sense for me to win this election. I don't understand. Everything in Florida, Sanford, everything that I did on the fucking coast should have worked for me to win this election. I don't understand. You wouldn't get it. You're a student. You wouldn't get it. Hey, stop. Turn around. We could still win this. You know that? We're going into a runoff vote. How would you know? What do you know? Courtney was wrong. We should have never stayed in this town. We should have never stayed in this small city of Sanford. This never helped, never to beat my opponent Rollins to get me to win this election. How would you know what to do about this when she didn't? We can help you. You should be mourning your brother's death instead of worrying about my election and my problems. You don't understand! God. part about it beginning really I'm more of a Shakespearean guy myself I don't really care for these ones no budget just not yeah, very well you gotta good. appreciate the minor hearts my friend yeah do you mind if I bend you here for a minute sure I got something for you I can fund your little campaign if you'd like interested of course I want money see this expensive one yeah, it's very expensive very nice it's like thirty dollars I don't care oh. You're backed by Donald Trump. You have his money in your corner. I do. How would you like to have mine in your corner as well? I wouldn't mind how much you're talking. Well, I would you say I represent a very conservative individuals who like to see democracy flourish. Right. And if you know, if I get you to win this, I scratch your back, I scratch mine, everyone wins. And if you do well enough, I might even let you get into this little concerned group of individuals. What is it? I'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> like, let's address this first real quick. You're not taking this serious. I'll just take my money elsewhere. Oh, cool. Do you want to fucking win? I do like money. I don't think he wants to win. Let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Pause. I kind of want to win. You want to straighten up? Talk business with me? Or you keep fucking jerking me around? You know, I detest that word. The C word. Cult. This is not a fucking cult. I don't know who you are. First You're talking, you should be listening. Well, I want to know who you are. You're talking, you should be listening. Shut up. Who wants to fucking walk away, we'll walk away again, just like that. Alright, pause, 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 pause. Fine. I need your money. 
me, me and DJ, we're not looking too good on terms. He thinks I might be liberal, which isn't true. I love abortion. No, I hate abortion. Don't love it. That shit sucks. So, why don't we abort some money care. to my bank account, I my friend? I don't care. Why not? I don't care. Think, think of me as your senator. Think about all the things I could pass. You want to dump toxic waste in your backyard? So you're willing to help. I'll do it for you, so You're dude. willing to help? Yeah. What you anything. want? Anything that I ask desperate. of you, will you do? Uh, to an extent, like, I'm not going to suck nothing. All right. No, I have to listen to me. I give you the fucking phone call, and I pay the jump, and you fucking jump. But if it's a spam call, dude, they happen all the time. Verizon blocks those calls. If it's a 386 number, it's gonna be blocked. Give me your contact info. Like, I'm not gonna answer no 386-414-1236. I don't even know what that is. Fucking Italian nerd. Fucking Christ. I mean, how long have we known each other, man? Like, four or five years? It's more like seven. I, I you never were good at math. That's why you're an English major. <laughs> but do you remember I, when we went to Boca Raton for when I was back in college? Oh yeah. That shit was crazy. It was. Uh, I'm surprised was we got out of the casino alive. We went to a Wait, casino. Wait, what the fuck? What do you mean seven years? Didn't, Didn't you, you just say y'all known each other since college? Inside joke. Oh, we're fucking with each other. Who the hell do you think you're? Just a driver, bro. Just drive. Like, come on. Come on. Jesus. Do your fucking job. Anyways, fuck. You know, it's a real fucking shame that Courtney's dead. Uh, don't remind me. <sighs> you know what? Sometimes, I don't fucking care. Yeah, no, it's, it's been hard, especially since you've had to, like, restart pretty much, like, your whole campaign. You know? It's been, it's been tough on you, too. Yeah, it's been pretty rough. I won't lie. She was a pretty good manager. Honestly, she did most of the work. Compared to what I did, all I was was just a vessel for what she was producing. And I honestly don't know how I'm going to be able to go forward. So, I'm kind of in a pickle right now. Well, you haven't lost yet, but with Courtney being gone... I mean, that's, it's a pretty big loss, tying. That means at least half of the population is totally not with me. Well, yeah. And that's pretty substantial considering that, you know... Half you're not, them you're, not you're not, Sanford. you're not completely out of the race. So just, I, I got this person, all right? He, he's in real estate. Uh, he's real good with uh, the people, real good face for TV, something like that. But, Wait, um, hold on. Does his name happen to be Cedric? Yeah, Cedric Bates. Cedric Bates? Yeah. You fucking kidding me? I've actually known that guy since college. Oh. That's, well, there you this go. This isn't an inside joke anymore. <laughs> since you know him, I'm sure you guys will get along pretty well. But, uh... Oh! Yo! Hello! What we're gonna try to do here is completely turn your campaign around. We're not gonna have a tie. We're going to have a flood. It is going to be an absolute blowout. I see you're already, you know, like good with masks, which is good. That's good. It's completely good. It doesn't show that you're weak, but when you're talking to me, we're not gonna have it on, okay? Because it's it's just how it is. Now, believe me when I say this, we're gonna completely turn this entire campaign around. Um, and we're actually going to have things okay fuck y'all anyways um the way we're gonna do this is we gotta get out of here big or we go home <laughs> Main road's gonna be a good plus for us. So. Let's see what's up. That's what's up. Right here. 
This is it. I'm telling you, this is the spot. This road, all the commerce, we're like 50 minutes away from downtown. We'll be able to connect to a lot of people here. Spread the good word. Make sure God's in every home. Can't have it leaving like it is right now. The devil's drinking whatnot. It's disgusting the way this country's gone. Immoral. Absolutely immorally bankrupt. Just but this plot of land, this plot in particular, I mean, look at the grass. It's beautiful. Supple. I mean, this is like the Garden of Eden right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The I mean, sugar wheat right here, man. This right here. This will uh, die off nicely. Fertilize exactly. the soil. Exactly. Yeah. And this right here, this is God's land. We're going to make sure people know that. You understand me? Yeah. This is his land. Wesley, what do you think, old chap? So how many people we think we need to get this thing up and running? Well, I've had 15 people like Carol waiting right now. We're going to need about 20 or 30 more at max to get this thing going. And, uh, we wanted them after the construction is done. Correct. We're here now. I want them intense building this church. This is my destiny. This is God's land. All of his word needs to be spread to all these centers of Sanford. This land right here is corrupt, evil, vile, and immoral. We can't, can't let it go on anymore. Sanford is a city, and this city is evil, immoral, and corrupt. We need God to come down here and shine his grace upon thee. This land of blasphemers and sinners will be no more. Once we have this church up and running, as soon as possible, we'll be able to cleanse this land of its evil and find out what the root of the evil is in this land. See, Florida, and Sanford in particular, is God's test. So, all you want to build is a church? Ever made that clear yet? That all I want is a church to be built? That's it. Just a church. That's all I've asked for. That's all we're going to be building. That's it. So a real church. House of worship. That'd be the plan. Did I make it clear? God sent me down here to cleanse this land? Honestly, I don't think God sent you here. I don't even think you're here to build a church. I think you're here to do a lot worse than that. You know, I knew I had Daniel over there fooled, but I had a hunch that you weren't really buying what I was selling. So I'm going to speak very frank with you. It's none of your concern what I'm doing here, because I know for a fact that Wesley is a white man. So, you guys are both con men, so I want you to know that whatever I do is none of your concern. Eva for one uh, taking the time to be here um, for those of you who don't know me I am Cedric Bates I am Senator Preston Conrad's newest uh, campaign manager for uh, this special uh, runoff election that is now going on um, for those of you uh, wondering it is true that I have advised Mr. Conrad to stay in Sanford until the end of this election. Now many of you may believe that that is an idiotic choice. Um, Mr. Conrad himself pointed out to me that his former manager, um, Courtney, uh, rest in peace, that uh, she had also had the same um, ideal and I believe that it also is a pretty strategic move. Sanford is the battle gap, battleground of this election. We are looking at a time um, of pure uncertainty, not only in this city, but across Florida in general and across the nation. Um, for those of you that know, I'm sure you all heard 10 minutes before this, they uh, announced it. Um, the president, uh, Donald Trump, uh, took all of Pennsylvania's electoral votes, um, ending the election. 
We all know that now uh, that Trump has won re-election, only about six points more than Biden, that this election is more important than ever. In order to keep the Democratic majority in the Senate, Mr. Conrad needs to win this election. And um, I just want to point out that Mr. Conrad and his uh, associates in the Senate are also planning on uh, opening up a special investigation because we all know that the White House has been in cahoots with the United States Postal Service and uh, we believe at least we need to investigate we don't want to uh, do any conspiracy theories but we believe that the president may have colluded with the Postal Service to eliminate some mail-in ballots now, we hope uh, by December that this will all be cleared out and that by the time of the Electoral uh, Commission that all of this will be uh, squared and solid. But unless, uh, um, if nothing does happen, we are prepared to win this election and show the president just what we're capable of. Merry Christmas, baby. You're a fire. Good, how have you been? Staying healthy? Cool. I like it. Great, great. Mask. Mask, yeah. Mask, yeah. Yeah. I hack it the one heck of things. How are you doing? Good. Nice, you don't look sick. That's good. Yeah, well, thank you, thank you. I tried my glasses are foggy in this thing though. They fog right up. It's a real pain in the A. Alright. Yeah. So have you guys seen who we're supposed to be meeting? Do you know who we're supposed to be? Not one bit. Every time though, it's been a disappointment. Yeah. How about you, Dina? Well, good thing I've been good this year, because maybe it's Santa. Thomas? It has been so long since I've seen you guys. I see we've so we got some new blood in here. I heard all about your new scientists. I'm so sorry with what happened with Simon. I I warned you. Mateo, never ever did I think that they would bring you into this. I thought they just I thought they just let you handle all the church shit and didn't actually get your hands dirty. Now you, Brooke, is it Brooke? That's what it was. I am very appreciative that they brought a woman on board because these two, they don't really have the smarts going on. So let me tell you something. Obviously I'm back, I'm not dead. You know, if you, if you noticed, I don't know if you like saw that. So, um. Let me give you the lay of the land here. So this is how it's gonna go. I know we've been slower with the production of, you know, the project because of old COVID-19, you know, the China virus. Um, but we gotta speed things up. 
Because I know we're losing people. We lost... We lost David. And you know... <laughs> I miss that man a lot. Um, but hear me out here. I got some new blood here. This is... Catherine. You got something? Here, go take your call, Mateo. I, I'll talk to them. Anyways. You still got that yacht? Loser. Anyways. Yeah. Alright, talk to me. So... This whole virus is like postponed right. everything they found we've it? been trying to do. My lawyer here, Catherine Cosgrove, she is, um, oh, bless your heart. She is a lawyer here in Sanford, and basically what is going to go down is she's going to make sure that the prying eyes of the government and the police are not prying their eyes on you. She's going to try tooth and nail to make sure that this operation is as secret as it's supposed to be. I got, I got some people I'm looking in. Uh, your glass is fogging. I got some people coming in. I'm gonna interview them to make sure that they're for, for the kidnapping, you know, the kidnappers. I got some people lined up. I'm gonna interview them for y'all. Um, other than that, that's all I gotta say. So, you know, keep it chill, keep it safe. You know, there's a virus going around. You know, maybe, It'll be a Christmas miracle if we get this operating before Christmas. All right, y'all. See you later, Mateo. I'll be, I'll, I'll keep in touch, man. I'm so glad you're back in town, my God. Thomas. Yeah, he he's a friend of mine. Yeah, he he's a friend of mine. I work with him. Yeah. He talks a lot. He yeah, does. And he's just gonna have to get used to it. So what's that phone call about? About that. Um, you remember Kepler? Yeah. Who's Kepler? Melissa Kepler? Mm. Yeah, it turns out they fucking found her, man. Dang. Well, she's a bitch though, so fuck her. Yeah. I have a question. Who's Kepler? His old partner of mine. Old partner. Can they, I have a book? Didn't find him too fond yeah. though. He's super bitchy to me. Can you guys give me a book of everybody, please? doing DNA, DNA and analysis. Um, I saw it. I saw Miss Kepler. It's definitely her. Yeah, you good? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, this is a... Uh, it's a bad scene, man. We have a hell of a case in front of us. So how does it feel to be out? Hey. Who are you? I'm your doctor. What? I've been handling your case for a while. How did you... How did you get me out? Well, I decided it was about time that you have some real life experience. But... I don't even... I don't even know who you are. So... Not only did I want you to get some pressure, I wanted you to ask you a couple of questions. Watch that. I just wanted to make sure they have a clear mind and clear space to answer all of those questions. Yeah. Yes. 
one-time gig. You know, uh, the people I represent were looking for a full-time employee. Well, this will be a first for me. I'm normally more of a freelance kind of person. See, they, they, they told me. They told me, you know, you really only do freelance. You're not really that big on, you know, uh, working for the same people more than twice. I um, but I want to let you know that compared, like, let's say we averaged what you make as a salary for your, all these other gigs you're doing. Think of it as being double what you're paid a year. We're looking at a much bigger thing. We're looking at, we're gonna supply you a car, we're gonna supply you tools. We're gonna supply you everything you need. We're gonna give you, you're gonna get an alias. You're not gonna be Booker, you know, you'll have your own thing. I, I go by Cedric Bates, I'm a real estate agent. You know, my name's Thomas. Um, we're gonna get you everything everything set for you, um, so long as you're, you're up to the tax. I think that's going to be about it. Um, I'm going to have my, uh, my people are going to, they're going to get you a drop location, you're going to be able to find and get, uh, you know, your passport, your new ID, all the papers you need. Um, we're even going to get you an apartment if that's okay. I don't know if you're planning on getting yourself. Um, other than that, um, you know, I look forward to working with you, man. It's gonna be it's gonna be a good time, Booker. We're gonna make a lot of money together. Absolutely. And also, next time, let's remember to wash our hands, okay? Yeah, a little finger painting going on. Oh, finger painting, yeah, that's what it was. But yeah, no, I'll I think I'm gonna be there. I gotta get to my car, um, but I'm right here. I'm right here at the pier, so I'm. I literally could walk to you if I wanted to. We're talking less than ten minutes, probably less than five, to be honest. All right. Well, I'll I'll see, I'll see you soon. Okay, that'll be about it. Tony. Tony, are you? Tony. Fuck. So Marshall, I brought you today because I wanted to show you somebody. See that man over there? He's the reason that you are the way you are. He caused all your problems. Santa Claus? Well, let's see if you understand this a little bit better. That man was the one that kidnapped your brother. What? No, Marshall. I know what you need to do. Maybe even want to do. So... his campaign manager back in August. Police said that Bryant escaped the mental hospital earlier today, and three nurses were found dead at the scene. They claim he's incredibly dangerous, and if anyone has any information... I was awful. I'm never doing community service again. Kids were awful, snot, crying. This fat kid jumped on my leg. It was, it was terrible. Awful. We're staying my way.
What's this about? I know what you did. I know what you did to my brother. I'm not gonna let you poison the city anymore. Do it. Shoot me. Shoot me right in the head. Do it. Do it. I said do it. Do it. Please don't shoot me. Please don't do it. I have no idea who your brother is. I don't know you. I'm watching you on the news, but I don't know you personally. Do it. Do it! Fucking do it! I haven't done anything wrong. Tony, Tony, Tony. I don't think anyone's seen this. I think we're good. We, we, we're gonna get you cleaned up. We're gonna get you cleaned up. I don't think anyone's seen this, so we should we should be fine. There's, if there's anything on the ground, we can wipe you up real good. I don't want you walking around the street looking like a, you fucking murdered someone. Th Thomas, I don't know how you do this. Do what, Tony? What, 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 what is it that I'm doing? Be so fearless after you die. Excuse me? I, I didn't ask for this. I didn't ask to be brought back from the dead. You've met Aldo, haven't you? Yes, I met Aldo. Yes. I'm not built for this. This is insane. This is the same person that's killed himself in front of me. How am I supposed to deal with that? I didn't sign up for this. It's not what I want to do. This is insane. It's not, it's not what I signed up for. <laughs> I mean, this is absolutely ridiculous. Shut up! All you do is just why? If anyone is to go into captivity, into captivity they will go. Quien tengas oídos puede escuchar. Tomás! Come on, listen to me! Listen to me! Listen to me! Shut up!
Jonathan and this is Ava. They run um, one of the satellite branches, and uh, they won one of the satellite branches over in California. They work for Greg. It's nice to meet both of you. Uh, Greg's actually a close friend. Um, you know, if it wasn't for us with Tony and Thomas, uh, this whole operation would be a thing. Malcolm is being very humble here. You see, uh, Malcolm alone is mainly the one who built this whole project from the ground up. Um, originally, um, it all started back in who knows God when, when the church decided that they wanted to do this information um, and project. If I'm correct, according to Greg, you two are like perfect with real estate and so am i like i mean sweet christmas i love real estate we love real estate it is a great market down here in florida really really booming it is. you know this project is really brave and bold but how are you guys going to get patients actually it's quite easy dominic i'm going to introduce you to someone this is this is Dom. You know, he's been doing a lot of extensive uh, human trafficking over in uh, in Brazil. Wait, um, you plan on kidnapping people? Well, I mean, obviously. Because, I mean, what we're doing here isn't really strictly legal. Um, I mean, we are basically cutting people up and seeing what the fuck happens to them um, and if they come back or not. Um, but, on the good news of all of this, we don't really need that many people. Because, first, number one, Sanford's a shitty town. That's the whole reason we picked this town, because, you know, it's an absolute shitty town. Number two, we only need like five or six people. Is that what we, I think that's what I, I, we're so far going to be paying for you. We're not going to need 20 plus people to be missing in Sanford. We are not going to make a giant scandal in this place. No one's going to care about five people being missing and Aunt Gertrude just not being in the house anymore. Um, yeah, and if you want them wholesale, chopped up in pieces, dropped in acid, yeah, yeah. we can provide all the yeah, services. Be, yeah, because the, we only need to see what happens to them in the process of death. We don't need to see what happens to them afterwards. We could just trash the bodies, whatever we want, pop, top them in Lake Monroe or something, you know, leave them at the governor's office. Um, anything. It doesn't really matter to me. As long as the price is right. As long as it's right. Five or six people is all you need? Guaranteed. But like Thomas said, we don't want to cause a mass panic. And honestly, if you're still not convinced, I mean, talk it over with Dominic. I'm pretty positive. He'll uh, get everything sorted out. You know, it is a very early stage, John. We're still planning all this. But uh, I, would, I would encourage you to talk to him a little bit more. Uh, uh, but yeah, yeah. If, and hey, and maybe, maybe what we could do... Guys, maybe what we could do is we might be able to get Greg over here one time. We should bring Greg to the Sunshine State. I'm sure he'd love it. Um, I was looking at my messages. Um, you know, Thomas, I actually have someone for you to meet. Hi, I'm, I'm Austin Bulls. Oh, uh, Thomas Lisker. Austin okay. right here is actually um, an investor in the church. Oh, in the church? Yes. Here. Okay. And, well, I've been reading about you guys for quite some time. This little thing you guys have been studying. Mm -hmm. Man to man. Oh, I have that bolt if you don't want. These guys ever. Actually, you know, we haven't, you know, I've always joked to Malcolm or whatever that uh, I always said that if he goes like cuckoo, like the old, you know, founders of the church, I, we, we'd name it after Malcolm or something. That, that was bad yeah. business. It was it, something bad happened. Speaking of that, you must be familiar with the founders, you know, Alder Volker. And... Uh, I don't care about those dead men, actually. Hey, George, George, come here for a second. Hey, yeah, awesome. So, uh, what are you interested in the church? What's, uh, what's Mr. Miskin's position here? Uh, Tom, he, he's an organizer. He's uh, the nearest place to the day. Carson? Oh, he must have loved him. Something like that. I, I've just studied everything you guys have been looking at here, this little phenomenon in Sanford. It's been something I've always been interested in my entire life. I've been really... I mean, anything there's no better public knowledge, I know about. I mean, like, the man seems like he knows his stuff. I'm on, I'm on you take this. If you could just, just socialize with some of the other group. Thank you. Thank you, George. Hello? <laughs> of course. Of course I'm still here. 
honestly, it's almost a fucking disaster. These people, I mean, they've got the money. That's all that matters. You know, they have all the money they need and so on and so forth. Um, but, uh, no, I did hear that. He is running for re-election. Did you... You heard I used to know him, right? A long time ago, before this whole thing started? Yeah. I've, I've, me and Preston go, like, we, we go way back. Listen, I actually was planning, um, at some point, we need to launder some cash through his campaign. He's got some local offices he's set up. Um, I'm thinking, um, if we're really thinking straight here, and, you know, I mean, the way we... We just simply, we're just moving the date. He killed the patient. He just, uh, snapped. Much like, uh... Malcolm. So are we going to tell Shaw? Absolutely not. We're going to make sure that when Shaw gets here, we're going to make sure that nothing... It looks like nothing has happened yet. Gregory Shaw is finally, uh... Wonderful to meet you. I'm Thomas Lisker. This is Anthony Tuss, the assistant director. Uh, nice to meet you, Tony. And this is Simon Michaels. This is our, our key scientist. Simon, say hello to the new director, you know, just, just say hello to him. I fly out here all the way from California on a 12-hour flight. Not to fucking mention a three-hour layover in New Mexico. I'm fucking pissed. My wife's are fucking pissed. I had to leave them at home. Lorenzo, shut the fuck up and shut up right now. I'm coming to you right now. What I'm gonna... Jesus fucking Christ, when I say five o'clock, I mean five o'clock. So, so, next time that you're late, 
on something so goddamn important. I'm gonna make sure I kill you myself, okay, Cosgrove? Wow, Thomas, what's so important? What's so important? Well, here, I'll, I'll tell you what's so important. We have a matter at hand that there are things. Did, did you invite someone else? I gave you a job, and I gave you a purpose. How hard is it to understand one order? One order! Thomas, I asked you to keep the mayor alive. You did not fulfill that requirement. You killed her. It's the only thing I asked you to do. I am a man of few words. I should not be having to repeat myself. One time's enough. You understand that? That You're bitch speaking when you should be listening. Poisoned me. I don't care. That bitch is the one who killed me, Aldo. Nothing to do with me. Whatever your vendetta is with her, it's squashed. As you do one thing for me, and that was it. What was it? What did I ask you to do? Bring you the mayor. What the fuck did I ask you to do? Bring you the mayor. Good. What did you do? Fucking killed her, Aldo. What? Did I not just fucking tell you? Did I stutter earlier? Hey, it's not my problem. Is there another reason why besides that? You just want to disobey me? I'm surprised that you were able You're to- You're surprised. I'm surprised that you were able to bring her back after I dropped her like five floors, man. Time works in mysterious ways, my friend. Think of it. I didn't have to intervene for you to come back. He just makes things happen. You're existing purely on his own basis right now. And what he has asked me to do is control you and allow you to work for me, give you a purpose again in this life. Or would you rather be dead so I can make that happen? Want to make that happen? It's up to you. Thomas, the choice is yours. So what is it? I think that we're done here. Catherine, we're out of here. And I'm like, gentlemen. Okay, I, I see how it is. You come out of the shadows to, you know, come and play with us mortals. You know, this is bigger than you all do. This is bigger than your tiny church. This is bigger than your former friend, Wesley. Keep his fucking name out of your mouth. Without Wesley, the church would be nothing. Without his funding, it would never have been established. What happened to him was very unfortunate. The last thing I want to fucking hear is you say his name. Disrespecting that man's legacy. Without him, you wouldn't even be here. We wouldn't even know about this great miracle of Sanford. The way God works in mysterious ways. The way that you were brought back. The way that you work for me now. So you listen to everything I fucking say. Do you understand me? And the next thing I want you to do is keep his name out of your fucking mouth. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? I don't take kind to those that disobey. I punish those that disobey. I make sure they've learned their lesson.
like we are. Wait, so you're actually really doing nothing with the whole thing? Just shut the fuck up. What? Pull over. Pull over. Fucking pull over. He's gone. What happened? He's man? fucking dead because of me. Because of man. What did you do? What did you do, man? Because of me. I killed her. Oh, come on. Give me the car. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Okay. 
What the fuck is wrong with you, man? Just And two, get your shit straight, drive your own fucking car. It's okay. Come on, come on. Is you at the house? You're not? Okay, well then, who's... Like... Mateo, who's, whose car's here then? Who's here? There's clearly someone here, Mateo. Who is at the house? There's no one there. there we literally parked the car in the middle of the road. And the house lights are on too. You're telling me you just leave a car here and you keep the damn lights on? Okay, but listen, 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 listen to me, listen, you listen. There's, something happened. Um. Yesterday though, Marshall Bryant killed himself. What's that? Somehow he got his hands on a gun, where the hell did he even get that? Literally, they're, they're, oh, listen, listen, stop. There is something wrong. No, don't, do not tell me there is nothing wrong. Something is wrong. Mateo. Cosgrove's dead. Mateo. Mateo. She's gone. Okay? I was there. Mateo. We can't... We need to figure this out. No, we should definitely meet a person. I'm kind of busy right now though. I'm with people from the church. Yeah, I'll get back to you. All right. Mateo. Good, glad that's the case. Well, 
My associate Terry and I are going to be leaving now. It's Christmas after all. Yeah, this game about that time. get these people to you as fast as possible. You know, I'm scoping out multiple areas. I have a couple suspects in my so why the fuck are you here? Falling a little behind. I need what you were briefed on. No more of these fucking homeless Joes. I'm a middle class and up. You understand me? That's what you were briefed on. The procedure has to have a specific type of person. I can't have any more of these trashy motherfuckers named what? Gertrude? You kidding me? Stop. I gotta go on another freaking patient right now. And this little motherfucker, if he wakes up on me, you're dead. How, how, how far are we? Um, I think we should be there in about five minutes, give or take. You listen to any queen? What artist is that? Fine with it. You know, just do whatever you have to do. Get that deal signed, please. I know we just went through all this today, but I definitely really Come on, get in. Let's not waste any time. Okay, drive. Don't wait for him to get in the car. Trying to get the license is not uh, uh the popping on it. The yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh. Doesn't help that uh, my ride was late. Uh, how, trying to... how long? How late were we? We were late. Yep. Well, you that's uh, because uh, you know yep. your driver Cedric. That's my name. My mistake. Frederick here. Mm -hmm. Can't. He's slow. Sorry, not sorry about it. Yeah, well, you probably should be sorry because you know you're driving the senator around. He's more important than you. Literally, your job is to drive this man around, and then when you're driving me around, you decide to go slow. Like it just doesn't, you know. Everybody's get to get on my case here, Preston. Come on. I, I have nothing to say. You have nothing not, to say. Nothing I'm to say about this at all. Disappointed. The fact it, that, that we were 30 minutes need... late because of your driver here, because your driver just doesn't. If you don't like the way I drive, get the fuck out. I don't say anything to him because of that reason he's the sassiest motherfucker you'll get to places slower if you took the back talk of your uh polling numbers are down by uh five percent are they uh-huh i wonder why because i don't fucking show up to things on time sir sir i don't think you understand i don't think you understand he was 
freaked out more than a freaking elephant after getting five tranquilizers in the ass, okay? Do you understand? Yeah, I, I should've been gone. I don't, I don't understand what's happening. It's just, he, was, he woke up and he was freaking out. And he, God, he, he just looked at me with his eyes of sorrow and just, I, I just, I had to pity him. And then it was just so annoying. Can we just get them fucking dead already? I don't have, I don't want to have to have them wake up, look me in the eyes. I need to make sure that I have a freaking corpse in front of me because I'm not gonna be able to do my work if this motherfucker's looking at me. Are you, do you understand that, sir? I might be coming out of line, but sir, 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 listen. I can't have the patients waking up during my procedures. I will not make the progress that you need me to make if they're fucking alive. Thing is, 
being provided by the Trump campaign. Nothing has been literally given by his campaign to the American people. They run on a seed of lies. But believe me, folks, we are going to make Sanford a better place. We are going to make Seminole County a better place. We are going to make Florida a better place because of us, not because of them. Your vote for Conrad is a vote for jobs, a vote for more money, and a vote for a better society for people living on the streets. And I'm looking at you, media, with your agenda, your plans. I don't like it, you're fake. But since I have your attention, Americans, my fellow people, I'm looking at you. I'm actually looking at you right now. I'm having eye contact. We're having a good time. Vote for me. That guy, Preston, sucks. That's it, period. Okay? Have Preston allowed. Babies are going to be dying left and right. Um, old people are going to be dying left and right. Uh, COVID will actually be real left and right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd just like to introduce you to one of the only Republicans backing Senator Conrad. Today, we have Francisco Kane, your local congressman here in Florida.
stood on a podium and spoke a tongue that none could perceive. They all nodded with outstretched hands and died for the American dream. Yeah. Preston, I, 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 you know, I don't even understand why you're so depressed. You know, you just won. You beat Rollins. Rollins is gone. You know, everything that's going on, like the whole thing is, you won. Like, Did you, you see what's going on? Like, at the you, Capitol? yes, I know what's going on at the Capitol. All the Trump retards are actively, whatever, they're are protesting around the building because the Democrats said that Trump didn't legitimately win and blah blah blah. That's no, not gonna, anyways, no, 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 no. Preston, they're inside the building. They broke in? Yes. See, Preston, it doesn't seem like you're, uh, you know, it, there is something worse for today. There is a reason to be depressed, I guess. I don't know what's funny. Funniest shit I've ever seen in these past few months was Trump guys thinking they could stop it. Like, we all know those up in the election. Yeah, this was pretty uh, loud, right? Yeah, well, fuck, I've, I've said this from the very beginning. Very beginning. These, these witch hunts, nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. I, tell, I said from the very beginning, these fucking Republican whack jobs need to be fucking sent to Mexico or fucking killed. I'm done. I've had enough of them. Get them the fuck out of here. The fucking whack, the, the fucking whack jobs. I'll, I'll tell you what we should do. I'll tell you what we should do right fucking now. Go on every street block, ask anybody. Oh, you Republican? Fucking take a 45 and put it right through there. Fucking skull. These fucking, these fucking whack jobs. These fucking whack jobs peddling their fucking conspiracy theories saying that we're, we're, we're fucking bad people. These fucking Republicans. I'm telling you right now, right now, I, I, excuse, excuse my sudden tone. I see the way you're looking at me. These fucking Republicans have ruined America ruined democracy, they have ruined this great nation. And I'll tell you what, if you're up to me, all of them, jail, dead, prison, in the fucking dirt. Every day, every day, dead Republicans, every day. You heard it here, you heard it here. Whole streets, lined with them. It's gonna look like a war zone by the time I'm done. War zone! And don't you ever forget that. Fucking do it! I'll kill you. Fucking do it! I'm so tired. So here we go. We have a lot of things on the table, but if I stand correctly, Anthony. Anthony, listen. If I stand corrected, we're looking at a surplus of individual. Their housing here is booming. We're looking at at least. My God, Mateo. We haven't seen each other in like forever. It seems. You know. Wasn't actually really expecting anyone here, but I mean, miracles do happen, I suppose. I, 
you know, like I said, it's been like forever. I mean, we did talk, you know, over there, you know, by that nasty, dusty parking lot everyone likes to meet in. Um, I hate that. But lot. other than that, I, we haven't really caught up. I mean, like, back in the day, we used to be it. We, I mean, we were neck and neck, but we were like brothers. Um, I'm trying to guess, and hear me out, I'm trying to guess what you're doing here. I mean, I know what I'm doing here. I was on the phone with Tony. I just came from the, from the, the museum, right? Um, but I know why you're here. I know why. What? Here, let me, let me tell you why. You're here to get caught up. Like, I mean, like we haven't talked in forever. I feel like it's, it's like you, we're, we're here, right? You know, I'm starting to think that when they sent you over to California, that it changed you. Like, I mean, the church is all good and all, but I feel like when they went so foreign to a whole other area to do shit, that that was, I feel like it just changed you. And like, believe me, I'm not really co entirely convinced that the church knows what it's doing. I mean, that's like the entire reason why I took a break. Um, it seems like that's just how it is. I mean, like, I, I just needed a break. And that's when they sent you in. That's, they sent you in when I went on break. Um, I mean, yeah. Tell me about that. About my, my Your break? break? Yes. Oh, uh, uh, I mean, it says any... League of Absence would be, I mean, I, I just... Yeah, you, the thing is, I heard that they left your body in a garage. So, you care to explain? The people we work for, right? Very powerful people. The church, very prestigious. I needed a cover story that everyone would believe, oh no, Thomas is dead, right? You know, I, I, it's made up. It was fake. You know, the whole thing was a stage thing. That's why when I showed back up around Christmas, um, when I showed back up, I, I said, you know, that was Dr. What's her name? The, the Brooklyn chick. What was her name? Navarro. Navarro, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't have any idea what happened to her either. I mean, from what I heard, it was. Uh, yeah, I can care less. Oh, um, you know, and I'm speaking objectively, Mateo, I think compared to the old days of you and me, you've gotten a bit dry. Dry. Thomas, I saw your body, your dead body at that garage, and it didn't at all seem fake to me. It seemed very fucking real. And now all of a sudden you're here. Let me put this a little bit more in perspective. I have, you've heard, you've heard the story of the founder of the church, I'm assuming, about Aldo, right? Everyone has heard the story before. Aldo Folker came down to Sanford from Philadelphia all the way down and started studying a phenomenon after meeting with what's his name Bryant's great-grandfather and a man known as Wesley Norman now we all know the story but according to folklore Aldo was meeting with members of the church mind you the church has been built they're talking about the church they're deciding if they're gonna have enough people to congregate inside the building. Aldo, on the other hand, is not a part of the conversation. Aldo instead is pretty frustrated. Out of the blue, Aldo kills them all. He guns every single person down. Church leadership is dead. Aldo, on the other hand, runs off, except he realizes 
or maybe he doesn't realize, because at that point he might just be too insane to realize anything. He kills himself. Everyone knows the story. But what if I was able to tell you that that day, Aldo actually, mind you, this is what we've been studying, actually came back from the dead. Would you believe that if I told you that, Matteo? Not one bit. Of course not. Of course not. Matteo was never one of the believers. You never really were, uh... I thought you were the religious one. I thought you were the one that cared about the church. You know, I've never cared about the church before. I've been a man of the science. We're yeah. talking science here, Matteo. A whole Mateo. lot of science, Thomas. Bodies just don't come back to life. Whatever the hell those doctors and the people from the church are saying, it's bullshit, all of it. Get that through your fucking head. So you're telling me that you do believe that I staged everything then, right? Yes. Okay. So you don't think I came back from the dead? Not one bit. Is it possible? Maybe I should tell you another story. No, you shouldn't. Thomas, get to your fucking head, man. <sighs> fucking bullshit. What happened to old times, Mateo? What happened to the old times? We used to be friends, right? Where is he? dying. It's very strategic. I got a feeling it might have been you or someone else that came back, but I got a feeling it was Wesley. You know, because you're the only person I would have known. It's the only way you kill someone for good. Why'd you come here? What are you getting at? That ruined the American dream for you? The great dream you had when you came from Mexico and killed Wesley? And as soon as I didn't, that dream, did I ruin that for you? Why are you here? I gotta ask, what's with the head? This isn't 1926 anymore. Who are you trying to impress? Are you trying to impress a girl? I mean, come on now, you're like 110 years old, easy. You think they're gonna go for you? The old man? It's the young man's world we're living in today. You know, just like the world, everything's passed and forgotten about you, including myself. I'm surprised you're here. What'd you wake up at, by the way, after I killed you? Let me get to the point. Speak. The phenomenon that you treasure so badly. Why? Why do you think it's so amazing? Because honestly, it's not. Everybody around you's dying. If not for me, from something even worse. You keep reliving the same mistakes over and over again. We talk about how old I am. Look at you. Going throughout this entire time. Just trying to make what? A life? It's a fantasy. Do you think the Native Americans knew what they were doing when they did all this? No. Look what happened to them. They're all dead now. You 
Rook. I've lost everything because of this curse. Everything I have. It's just a fantasy. I've lost all my friends. My family's gone. The truth be told, I'm scared. I don't want to die. I I've lived for so long, I can't imagine any other way, but every day is a another day in hell. I'm in a permanent purgatory of my own divine. I, you know, I used to think this, this was a divine thing. It came from God, but this is the most satanic thing I've ever witnessed in my life. And I've been experiencing it for over 120 years. I, mean, I just want to end. Yeah, I know we've had our differences in the past, and I apologize for bringing you into this curse and ruining your life too, along with mine and everyone else's I brought into this mess. Are you doing a favor? Do you want to end this? Please. If you want to, we'll squash this beef we've had. And we'll end this today. Are you being truthful? I have no reason to lie. I've lost everything. I have nothing now. All I have is money. That's it. There's, there's no way to go on like this. This is no way to live. I just want to be over. Will you do me the honors of ending this together with me? Even though we've had these issues in the past. I've been waiting so long for you to say this. Together? Really? Are you ready for this? Yep. You know, I killed you first last time. I'm going first. How much, uh, how long are you get that thing on you? Um, I got like probably a couple more weeks. I'm not too sure. It was really not that bad, honestly, because well, I'm walking on it already, so. Who would have think a game like golf could have brought such, brought such an injury like that? I actually was the golf cart, surprisingly. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> you remember my assistant? What's your name? Can't drive for shit. Ah. Uh, doesn't matter. What the fuck? What the fuck? Yo, 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 no, 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 fucking paying you for this, but I swear to God, this is gonna be the fucking end of you. Who the fuck do you think 
you are, okay? Okay, okay, my guy, okay. What the fuck? Do you realize how long this is gonna take to heal now because of you? Okay, Jesus. Well, Mr. Senator, it could take a lot longer to heal if you wanted to. What the fuck does that mean? You really wanna know? Huh? Uh. Oh my. What the fuck is wrong with you people? Go on, Senator Conrad, you've seen your fair share of work. I know about Courtney. What? Everything that happens in this city, I know about it, Conrad. Who do you think you're talking about? How the about? fuck did you find out about that? I have eyes everywhere. No, wait, 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 wait. Now, wait. This great celery city of mine, everything that happens within it, I know about it. I have people of all shapes and sizes, all over the place. You don't even know if they're one of my people or not, Conrad. You're a sifted, Conrad. Every power that you have is because of me. This entire city is the reason why you're here. And I'm the reason why this city is here. Yeah? I Just listen to him, Preston. Before. Man's got everyone in his pockets. You should listen to him or run this entire city. I'm surprised you don't know that, Conrad. You see, how could you? How fucking could you? You telling me it's been a lie this entire time? You helping to run my campaign, to rerun for senator, to fucking get me into office so that I could be a persuasion for you in whatever the fuck this is right now. I don't know what the hell this is. I was just trying to mind my own fucking business with my fucking friend you who is now dead. You listen to me, cocksucker. I ran your entire campaign. That meant everything to me. Everything that happened, that was me. Who cares about Aldo? Who cares about anything? Just shut your fucking mouth because you don't understand what is happening and what is at stake is bigger than you. It's always been bigger than Senator Conrad. It's been bigger than the mayor. It's been bigger than every goddamn slime ball in this fucking city. Who the fuck is Aldo? Hi, Moldo. What you're gonna be doing is talking to Mr. DeSantis. You're gonna go ahead and squash this investigation into my little group of people. This whole ordeal, it's none of his concern, it's not yours any, quite frankly. Do you have a mother? Do you have a father? I'll just fucking kill him if you don't do what I ask you. You understand me? Listen, don't fucking give a damn about anything he tells you. You listen to me, Preston. We have been best friends for a very long time, all right? You are dealing with people that are more powerful than you think. If you cherish your life, if you cherish your family's life, if you... I don't think See, I can do this anymore. City. What? Nothing, and no one can touch me. So after all this time, like I have any of your torture people, kill, you, you can't comrade. handle it? Just as quick I as can't. this. Self degenerate piece of shit laying on the ground. And you go to that luncheon with the governor. And you're gonna stop this case. Don't you end up like Thomas laying on the ground right there. You understand me? Yeah, the uh, Valentine's luncheon was honestly a big hit. Um, a lot of people there, a lot of supporters, um, you know, of our party. Sadly, not as many people of color as I really wanted to, especially for the press release on this one. But uh, on the brighter side, the hair was a big hit. Um, wife really kind of hates it. Uh, she's not a big fan, but I told her, I said, hey, look, babe, if Trump gets four more years, so does his hair. Yeah, I mean, you know, Casey, she's great and all, but I mean, have you seen Ivanka lately? Between her nagging me about the hair and this vaccine. Showed up. Uh, I guess the only one that kind of wanted some. Cares. 
Yeah. You just like a good free lunch, I guess. But very, yeah, nonetheless, yeah. very, very bipartisan of you. But um, Francisco, I thought he was gonna come with you, or is he not? Um, he's, um, you know, he's. He was feeling sick. He couldn't stomach it. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's kind of hard seeing him like that. Oh, uh, uh, who is this? Is this uh, one of your friends? Oh, uh, Malcolm here? No, yeah, he's, he's my friend. Yeah. Long time now. Kind of oh, some hi. How long, uh, how long have you known Preston? College. Oh, well, yeah. Um, I'm sure you know Frederick, right? I believe he used to work for you. Yeah. Um, I, well, I hope there's no bad uh, blood between it all. I mean, I know he tendered his resignation and all, but... Uh, it's fine. Kind of a weird time, you know, for both of us. Um, yeah, I don't really think about it too much. I don't really care, you know, do whatever, your career. Your Anyways, uh, yeah. we're on DeSantis, so I heard about all these missing people, like you signed an executive order. Well, actually, I haven't signed it yet. Uh, it's on my desk and everything, um, but I don't know. I'm just not too big. I mean, I've had these press releases saying I was going to do it and talk about it, but I just... I'm not that big on government oversight. Uh, I mean, it's I mean, it's a tragedy. I mean, there are 27 people missing. I'd love to help them. I just I'm I still haven't signed it. I just I'm still unsure. You know, I wouldn't worry about the 27 people. It's like COVID, right, Preston? I mean, yeah, it's like you die in a motorcycle accident. Shit, COVID. If you fucking die to arson from your child, of course it's gonna be COVID. How else could it not be? That's exactly how it works. Gets in your lungs, goes crazy. Um, it's just fucking bonanza. Everything's COVID. Wow, Preston, actually, I didn't think we would see eye to eye on something especially like that. Especially, you know, I never thought I'd hear that coming from a Democrat. But uh, no, I think I absolutely understand that now. I mean, what's the whole deal with like COVID still going on? I mean, mass mandates and yada, 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 and staying outside. And I mean, of course I'm vaccinated, but I mean, with the having to carry your vaccine passport everywhere and how like, how is it still affecting us? Cause COVID just can't float in the air. I can't be standing here in the middle of nowhere and just get COVID. So I think I really understand it now about those 27 people. Shit. <laughs> Friend, and you fuck this up for me? You think I won't kill you too? You got something loose up there? The fuck's the matter with you? The fuck is the matter with you? You sent me back a hundred fucking years again. Oh, Malcolm. Again? You died again? This is almost the same fucking way. Hey, question. I want to talk to you, come on. Speak up, come on. Get that fucking boot off. Get the second gear, come on. I understand what you just did. I mean, I can bring him back. That's my best man. You just want to kill him in the fucking street like a dog? In front of everyone? In public? What are you, fucking crazy? You're a politician, yes? Speak what's spoken. Obviously. You don't want the cops? You want them on you? You want the fucking cops on you? This this whole thing is fucked now because if you understand that, right? This this is the fucking public. The steakhouse is right there. You think no one saw this? Now we're gonna have to take him, bring him to the field, resurrect him, rehatch the entire fucking plan. Now we gotta go get the Saints. You understand that? We're gonna have to try and find. I will not. Let you corrupt him. <laughs> I will not let you fuck over this fucking city anymore, Aldo. <laughs> You're fucking dead. I will kill you fucking legit. I will not be tormented. <laughs> I will never, ever 
Oh, I know. <laughs> Thomas, you fucking asshole. Okay? It's over, Aldo. It's yeah, over. I don't understand <laughs> why the fuck. Uh, I don't understand why you guys don't use guns. You use all these goddamn knives. All you have to do is use a goddamn gun, Aldo. All the other fucking king, right? Everything. All we've ever done and accomplished. Here it is, Sifford. Here it all is. Nothing. But nothing. He's the fucking fool. What the fuck is... Thanks for telling me. been a while since the incident. Uh, Aldo is dead. Uh, we got some new people. Uh, but I do have Aldo's book and maybe we'll be able to bring him back. I mean, everything Aldo has been talking about is in this book. Well, actually, there's a second book. It's in my trunk. Now the thing is, you just gotta take a closer look at it.
Where to first? I really like Miami. 